what is up what is up it's Kovian here and welcome back to the channel so today patch notes just dropped so i'm gonna split this video into two already because um the patch notes didn't seem to be as um, little as i thought they would be <laughs> there's actually content in um coming with this patch so i thought we were gonna get like a content break and then get content later but they're just like no we'll just throw in something in there so there's stuff to do uh on top of what we're already doing right like the game is kind of filling up not gonna lie in terms of pve so i'm gonna split the video into two i'm gonna talk about the content in this video is mainly about the update and then i'm gonna talk about the hero which is kuro in a different video all right so right now we're just gonna completely skip kuro right we'll talk about her skills their implications how they are going to match into the game what's gonna happen right and i mean just for patch notes purposes there's gonna be a kuro banner that's that's the new banner right accompanying the kuro banner is the tamara banner which means the Tamamo banner and the Vlada banner are leaving. So if you don't have Tamamo, today's the last day to sort of just, I don't know, go for her, I guess. If you are a PvE Andy, right? Um, I feel like she's kind of worth it. I'll put her like an S, definitely not an S plus, but yeah, a high S for sure. And there's going to be a size story added an existing side story adjustments right so the added one is the kuro one we're gonna add a kuro side story and the tomamo one is going to be um adjusted so that's just what's going on going on and then just on schedule is the joint challenge so like if if you guys haven't realized this, this is like a flow of content like it goes um guild raid and then joint challenge every time guild raid joint challenge and when joint challenge finishes guild raid starts again so that's how it goes so guild raid just ended this week which means next week this last week sorry today is monday so which means this week joint challenge is coming i will see what kind of boss is it uh Sichifuja. I actually don't know them by name. Like, I feel like they should put a picture of the one. Like, I know how they look. I know which one's which from, you know, the monster that we get. But, like, I never look at the name. So, I don't know <laughs> uh, which what we are fighting here. But, I mean, we'll make guys on how to fight it anyway. So, let's move on from that. Join challenge coming. Here's the new thing. So, if you watch my past prediction, I kind of said um the world boss well they i was you know interpreting what they said in the previous dev notes that they're gonna throw the um, the world boss late june early july but it seems like it's early june now because this is the first patch for june and the beta test is dropping maybe what they meant was that they're gonna throw a beta now and then late june early july is going to officially launch i'm not sure why it's beta because it's not like co-op so they're not going to like look at testing anything to do with um connectivity you know like it's not co-op or anything like that like you just do it on your own and content like that already exists in the game so they know how to implement it already i don't know why this is the second beta by the way <laughs> right we've heard a the first beta before was taken down this is the second beta so i'm not sure if it's still like they should call it beta 2 so let's read the details there's some differences right for example global and server rankings coming which have their own rewards basically um yeah server rankings is just your server whether you're global asia korea so forth global is everyone combined right and then um what's the third point so the third point is this one for the japanese people they will not be put into global it will just be server rankings so for japanese server given its recent launch it will have a separate global ranking so so the it's just them so server ranking and global ranking is just jp <laughs> like that's how it goes which is fair they can't be expected to compete 
with people who've been playing for a full year while they've been only playing for a month right they started in may um mid-may and it's been like less than a month of them playing so they can't compete right um the way you do it you, you clear area eight in season one that's easy players can enter 10 times a day at no cost while the event is ongoing now i'm not sure if this is for beta but it'll be great if it's just permanent like no energy cost no nothing you just get in and do the world boss right how to play you can form two battle teams okay this part here it's easily explained here <laughs> there's an image right all this wall of text all this wall of text is explained in the in the stuff below so i will explain it as we look at images and tables because that's just more compelling than reading words i guess so there's two teams right um you're gonna face two phases of the boss so the boss has two modes your team one is gonna fight up until a particular point the boss will activate a skill switch to a different boss and then it will switch to a different team right that ability will also activate if your team your first team just dies so like your first team can't go infinite it can't go forever <laughs> right because the, the boss will one shot it and switch it to the second team in which the second team will start fighting the second variant of the boss the boss has two variants right and um actually that's what happened the last time so maybe maybe change but like what i ref here it's still the same basically and then you're going to have to play um depending on that now there's a lot of dependencies on um classes now instead of elements right for example classes depending on what you have you might have different effects for each phase if you have a striker increases priority recovery efficiency by 15 percent by 50 percent so basically if your striker gains like 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 dracon normal dracon the exclusive equipment gives her the chance to gain 35 percent uh priority when she attacks a debuffed enemy right so a 50 percent increase it's like 35 percent times 1.5 basically so it's like um 50 60 something i can't do the math but yeah <laughs> it's just that uh mages increase damage dealt to the boss right here it's priority and here it's bosses so you will have to walk around which class you're putting on which phase to manipulate the effects that they get depending on the boss's skills so it, it is going to be an art to some degree right basically it's going to be an art now there's this they didn't have the last time so this is now a whole different thing before we all got to fight the same world boss now they split it into leagues right so they say here players will be selected will be able to select their preferred league when battling the boss players will be able to select between beginner junior and senior league and rewards will vary based on the chosen league so if you are early game if you just started like my alt account it's like three days in then i mean it's just easy beginner right <laughs> junior you've been playing for like two three months actually let me not put numbers on it yet we'll see when we see we'll see how hard everything is but you can choose the league depending on where you are um like your your level of the game right just to make the boss better if you do so players will rank against each other within the chosen league so this is both for um global server and no sorry for server rankings and global rankings so there will be league rankings as well not in addition like for each league beginner will have global server junior will have global server so forth so forth if you do not select your league you'll automatically be placed in the beginner league ouch <laughs> i mean you can just go bully people can you go to the beginner people and bully i think there's a better here to just like go bully the ranks right <laughs> it's possible uh on my main i'm probably just gonna go for senior league just to see i probably can't compete on that level but i mean it is what it is right 
uh, always try to end the upper end of the game and see how it goes. Players will be able to enter practice battles after selecting a league. Of course, players will be able to change their chosen league before finishing their first real battle. Great. So you get to test out um, where you would fit, basically. <clears throat> Can you even compete in junior, right? Do you need to go down to beginner, for example? Rewards, there's purification rewards. You can turn rewards daily during the event period based on tier achieved. The rewards consist of stamina and purification chest. Once you've claimed your rewards for the daily for the day, you'll be you will not be able to claim the difference in rewards if you reach a higher grade. Okay, so tier rewards, man. How many rewards are in this thing? <laughs> These rewards are given based on the tier reached when finishing a battle the rewards are comprised of gem chest and gear and upon initially reaching a tier you will receive all rewards from lower tiers you will not be able to receive the same tier rewards multiple times during a single world boss season okay that's good that's good um these are the tiers right d up until ss so you get them once once you get d tier rewards once you get this you, you won't get it anymore that's basically it. well in the same season right and it's like a season is a week i think i, I just kind of lost through that right um like there is that schedule and then there's you collect which is like a cooldown time and then it starts again so a season's like a week right so that that's a season um these are for the different ones tier for beginner you can get those tier for junior you can get those tier for senior you can get those purification chests right and then there is check-in rewards and there's gear rewards what's that about server ranking players will receive based on their league of course global ranking yeah separate global rankings whatever japan will have a different servers players will receive based on their bracket in preparation for the regular season we are looking to improve server stability but why this is a single what <laughs> this is not co-op right am i am i insane to improve server stability and address potential issues through this beta we will provide further details through a separate announcement once the real season begins please know that the duration of the beta test will be extended the rewards and combat mechanics for regular season may differ from those in the beta okay so yeah they're testing out the reward structure that's testing out the server stability i don't know why maybe the rankings but like we have arena like arena already has re okay never mind it is what it is um so server stability number one combat and rewards are the things that that testing out basically and um yeah depending the stamina the treasure that you get depending on your tier it's not so bad it's basically off by one I guess it exponentially gets worse like for d it's one two three and then a two four six three six nine oh that's how it goes it's multiples but the 10 one is not that oh the 10 one is with five so triple s is five it's 10 15 20. right and then the s one is 8 12 so it's four difference not really 8 12 then this one is a big jump to 18 that's six so there isn't a pattern it just seniors better than beginner but juniors in the middle that's basically it <laughs> right um gear rewards i still have no idea what gear rewards are okay so here are several rankings Ooh -wee, we gotta get stuff okay uh i'm looking for gear rewards there's tier reward is, is wait did they mean to write tier rewards no th these are tier rewards are up here right that's face effects 
these are what you get daily right if you do a match you will get a chest and stamina right depending on where you are so like if on the first day you reach triple s <laughs> i don't know how you can do that from that point on every day you're gonna get this. so this is what these are these are checking rewards oh the moment you click everything okay i'm 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 stupid these are the tier rewards so this up here these are the tier rewards right you only get these ones when you hit d you get this ones this ones this one this ones when you log in you get these ones basically when you get in depending on where you are two star gems come on man <laughs> come on bruh six star epic to legendary weapon chest like dog uh light dark for weapons do they mean like the boss they come from that's weird do they mean like us nova and amadeus is, is that what the light dog means like the weapons will be from us nova and amadeus probably that's probably what they mean there okay and then these are at the end of the season the seven rewards number one gets a hundred color the damage okay the lowest tier people top hundred percent everyone else gets 10. okay so it's different so in the beginner you get normal recruits in junior you get special and then you get color the damage in senior got it so i just go to senior like man i'm just gonna try hard and see you even if i'm in the 10 percent 10 color the damage on a on like three weeks man it's, it's it's a thing get it global rewards now this is where everything is you get ether okay top one gets 1.5 it's not that bad the bottom gets two so it's not a big ratio Eh, what i mean like it seems like being number one is not that bad like the number one in global or in the server like they'll have like a hundred call of the damage is nothing to these people okay even 100 1500 ether like it's nothing they should add cosmetics for them for flexing because that's what they want like at that point that's what they want like how much is 1.5 this is like one dollar or something so it, it really doesn't matter to them okay Rico's shop will be revamped so that's the that's the world boss we'll go through it again once it launches and then go through the picking because i mean sometimes there's words and then you get into the game and you finally understand by doing especially me if i do something i understand it much better than when i just get the information right so Re Rico's secret shop the one that comes out at different times well it's getting a schedule change right the schedule will be changed this will be the times use uct there you go rico secret shop will have different items on an offer and the number of slots that open based on customer tier will increase okay so we'll get more stuff and more different stuff where's the table for that <clears throat> once players custom tier reach tier 7 or above the substats of certain items on offer will appear with a fixed minimum value this means for gear man using ether for gear fuck that <laughs> no <laughs> i will not do it doesn't matter if it's a perfect piece of gear i don't care <laughs> hey yo stop that shop is still a scam but i guess it's whale bait right so whales will buy it okay so one new costume pack will be added yes so you have to buy kuro's costume pack if you like kuro go get it um there's stuff now 20 oh man 22 23 dollars i guess you get recruits special recruits and you get ether so if you're gonna buy special recruits and ether just rather buy the skin right <clears throat> i feel like the pack is much better now because before you used to just buy the skin which was yikes <laughs> it was a big yikes not gonna lie i feel like they should throw in a kuro in here 
and then these skins will sell like hotcakes they will sell like hotcakes okay special stuff call it the damage 300 of them for nah not worth it um 20 of them for ooh no not worth it all right so they have some cool changes right now um this one i'm happy about uh the equipment slot patches has been increased from 600 to 700 just more equipment space uh this one as well so like you know how you can have um deadly creatures that come out like that they pop up like it's mostly like your 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 identification and ecology study monsters right the glyces um the chimeras the amadeus sometimes they're like so hard that you can't beat them so they 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 give you the selection to just give up on them just move on you'll be like i don't care <laughs> and um yeah that's that works players now will be able to purchase them as uh, exploration support packs from monthly subscription category in the shop of course yeah this is actually the best pack in the game i have this it's amazing um the trust ui has been changed the trust level ui has been changed to appear on one screen without additional pop-ups oh okay so you no longer have to like boop, boop. we'll see how it looks in game um new dialogue for main side story okay the game will now remember your scroll position when previewing costumes <laughs> it take you back to the one you were looking at they're like you like this one see it again <laughs> oh no i mean the jp bros are gonna love this one right <laughs> like they're going to eat eat it up um the story autoplay feature will no longer be disabled the bone pressing that's good in terminus as the guy will now the game will now display a warning when attempting to claim the final reward when there's a spot left to complete guys i i feel like we don't give i'm gonna make a specific video terminus isles is the best content in this game <clears throat> like it's a high tier gacha content like whoever came up with the terminus isles very good well done to that person give him a hand um it's it's top tier like it has everything that you want from a gacha game mode just just to get from there okay fixes damage stella where are you if there's no damage stella i don't care <laughs> i literally do not care uh okay some arch demon stuff okay wait wait wait, wait. this might be damage stella the issue where the game would freeze when a character or monster with skills that have certain effects counter agile response revenge died as a result of certain debuffs after using a skill has been resolved oh oh so like she counters <laughs> and then they die from the pop that's super funny okay fam listen these things they need to get the coding for this right because man man agile response and revenge is it's so buggy it's so buggy okay cool um yeah that's about it for the fixes i guess that's how it goes um and how about revival skin of monad eva or serum does it come instant death debuff if you get what oh is he talking about oh it's talking about the other character we'll speak we'll speak about kuro in a different video this one was mainly just four and it's already so long it's just the patch notes and it's already so long so if you reach till this point thank you for watching guys see you in the next video deuces